What is up, guys? It is me, Leon. One, two, three, nine hundred and one movie review that I actually enjoyed and not enjoyed watching. The House of the Dead. It is a movie based off the Sega video game, and oh, yeah, oh my God, there were a lot of problems with it, but the cast was amazing. I don't even know who they are. I recognize one guy from Dinotopia. That was it. But, uh, they did, they put, like, action sequences from the game, and I kind of liked that. So, here's what they did. They basically tried to follow the game the most, at least tried to. I mean, if you wanted to follow a game, you would do a great job. This one kind of did a good job. It followed the rules of a horror aspect. At least it didn't reference them as zombies most of the time. They were more as the mutants, but... As I gotta say, this film could have been a lot better. Okay, I'm not gonna rant or anything, but they're missing some key points. Like, you guys know who G is, right? You know, Agent G of the AMS. He doesn't come in until the end of the movie. So, spoiler, my bad. Um, So basically, G, he's not even in the movie, technically. Why can't they have a dude with sunglasses that named G just to come in and help people? You know what I mean? But, uh, as I'm saying, I think it could have been a lot better if they put in characters from the game itself. Like they, At least, like, in the Resident Evil movies, they put characters in from the game. But in this, they did not put any characters from the goddamn game. Especially G. G's my favorite character out of the House of the Dead series. So, I'm going to give House of the Dead a 7 out of 10. The reason why is, there's no characters from the game. They, 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 at least they followed sort of a dialogue plan. Of someone trying to create themselves to life. Like, trying to make them immortal. But, they could have done better. Uh, 7 out of 10, guys. Um, well, that's it, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.